Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and here I am playing the Neo Alpha demo. I started a brand new game. In case you're wondering, I already beat the Alpha demo with a different character, and it took quite a long time. Thank you, phone, for beeping off. I decided to just start from scratch, from square one, to see how far I could get without dying. And I say I'm quite impressed with how well I've progressed since I played the game for the very first time. Uh, when the very first time that I played the demo, I think I died on like the second enemy. Which is pretty pathetic if you think about it, but uh, on this I go through about almost 26 minutes of gameplay without dying and I only use the prayer shrine two times in total, which I think was pretty impressive. I didn't do no crazy grinding or anything like that. I pretty much ran through. And I wanted to kind of showcase this gameplay because people were complaining about how difficult this game is. And you know what? I got kind of the same vibes when I first played it. But when I really thought about it, this gave, this game gave me the same kind of vibes that the first Souls game ever did. Demon Souls. Now, I can go back and play Demon Souls and do pretty good. I can usually get through the first couple of stages or whatever without a single death. Because I'm used to it now. I know how the game plays. I've gotten used to its mechanics and I know what to expect. And it's kind of the same way with this. You might notice, for example, how I had like a little blue glow. Um, after wrapping up a combo. That's actually a very important thing to keep in mind with Neo because um, this game does play a bit differently from Dark Souls. Now some people might complain about how this uh, key pulse mechanic is. That's what the blue pulse thing is. Uh, some people might complain about how it is like they say it's a force button press or whatever. And I guess you could have some argument to that the reason why i threw the rock by the way is so i can draw just the one guy and fight just the one guy so that i have an easy time because this game's combat is actually really easy when you're fighting just solo one-on-one fights fights because you can control the pace and outcome of the fight you know you can basically dictate the rules of the fight and you definitely want to keep that in mind now i do play a little reserved against this axe guy because they literally can kill you in one hit at the beginning of the game. And I guess I could say that is quite ridiculous. Um, without a doubt. But it is all about learning the timing, learning the way the game plays. And hopefully Koei Tecmo does do a bit better job with the tutorial. Maybe have a tutorial section similar to how uh, Demon Souls had it. Where... You kind of fought like super easy as hell enemies and then, you know, at the end, you kind of test yourself and see how well you learn mechanics against a tough boss. Um, and then start the game after that. Hopefully they do something like that for Neo. Maybe that'll help players grasp mechanics better because right at the beginning you're fighting, you know, grunt enemies, but they're tough. They can really uh, put a punishing hurt on you you know these guys can literally kill you in just a couple of hits for the weaker guys or even one hit for the axe guys but as you see i haven't even been touched so far i've mastered it and it, part of that reason is because of the key pulse mechanic this is one that people really need to keep an eye on as i mentioned some people complain about how it's a force button press so essentially i'll explain what how it works so whenever you're doing a combo at the end of the combo, you can either choose to just do nothing, obviously. You can maybe, you know, choose to give yourself a breather or run away or whatever. Or you can press R1. Now, R1 is important because that's the button you use in conjunction with a face button to change your stance. But, if you just press R1 by itself, it'll do that key pulse. And what that does, essentially, is it brings back some of your stamina meter. Um, I'll show you in the ne next fight here. You'll see how the stamina meter moves down, and it kind of moves down in segments as you continue fighting. You'll notice that part of the stamina meter will appear to be red. And so if you use the key pulse, you'll regenerate that amount of stamina instantly. You don't have to wait for the standard stamina regeneration to actually get the stamina back. And that's how come I was able to 
execute those effective combos where I can hit the enemy several times without us breaking a sweat, essentially. Um, now, you do have to keep in mind that your key, that's your stamina in this game, uh, it does deplete over time. The key pulse doesn't fully regenerate. It regenerates some of the stamina loss, so you do eventually have to kind of step back and take a break. So, uh, right there, of course, I accidentally do drop both enemies, but I am able to kind of, like, you know, deal a lot of damage to one guy, and I'm able to kind of segment them. That's another thing you have to keep in mind. Um, you can really control the pace of the fight if you're fighting one-on-one -on -one in this game. You don't want the enemies to surround you or take advantage of you by numbers, because that's a great way to get yourself killed in this game. So... Back to the key pulse, you know, it's a really interesting mechanic. I know some people are like, oh, it's a force button press. I kind of liken it to the reload effect from uh, Gears of War, um, where, you know, you can reload your gun faster if you time your button press just right. It's kind of like a skill-based button maneuver that's thrown in there just to kind of give you a little bit of extra flair uh, with the gameplay. That's something I'd really want to bring up there, because people don't really think about that in this regard. And that's one reason I really love the key pulse mechanic, because it really does uh, give you more of a focus on the combat. You really have to pay attention to what you're doing. You can't just button mash. And obviously you can in the Souls games either. I totally understand that. But with the Souls games, you know, you can have a shield and you can kind of like fumble around as long as you're really careful and cautious. You can kind of fumble around and make your way. This game, you have to be a lot more offensive. You have to be quick on the reflexes without a doubt. And that's uh, something that really you have to pay attention to. Now, Bloodborne was kind of the same way, but for some reason I couldn't get into Bloodborne. Bloodborne was kicking my butt. Uh, maybe I should go back and try it again. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, have a new perspective on it. I can play it a lot better. That might be a good idea. Kind of like I did with this game. You know, this game was really kicking my ass at first. But after I got used to mechanics, I'm clearly doing good. Now, here's a samurai guy. This guy usually kills most people their very first time. Um, he definitely killed me, for sure. But here I am, totally poning him. I'm even using a finishing maneuver on him while he's down on the ground. You kind of, like have to let these enemies wear themselves out. That's another really great thing about Neo, is that you can exploit the enemy's own weaknesses with their stamina. You can force them to deplete their stamina so that you can take advantage of it and really score some big damage. So, I think about initially going here, but I decided, you know what, it's kind of risky. I'm out of stones. I don't have anything else to throw at him, so I decide I'm going to take the other path around. Uh, which, um, you know, you have to be careful this way because this is where you start getting, getting into the archers. Because the archers can really wreck your stuff. Uh, but, you know, I'm really interested in Neo. I really enjoy the mechanics. This game plays awesomely. And this is the first Souls-like game that gave me the same kind of vibes that Demon Souls has, you know, it gave me the same feel, you know, where you, it, it, it just feels so fresh and so new, uh, the way that it plays. I mean, I, I never thought I would play a Souls-like game that would give me that vibe again, but Neo definitely has, and I'm really glad that it has. Uh, this is definitely one I'm going to pre-order, uh, whenever pre-orders get available. Uh, without a doubt, I am picking up Neo. And uh, it's interesting because GameSpot did, or I don't know if it was GameSpot or somebody did a video about if Neo's like the evolution of Dark Souls. I think it kind of is, in a way. I mean, it does have some mechanics and things like that that aren't as good as Dark Souls, but that's okay because it's its own game, you know. I mean, there are certain things that they can improve without a doubt, um, you know, but this is just an alpha. They still have probably several months before this game comes out, maybe even a year possibly. I don't know when they actually intend on releasing this game. But unfortunately, by the time you see this video, the uh, uh, playable alpha is probably gone, and you're not going to really see a chance to play this probably for some time. Maybe uh, we'll see another playable demo or something in the future. I mean, I think uh, that might be a wise move. 
from Koei Tecmo since uh, they know people, um, you know, maybe maybe didn't get it the very first time around and, you know, kind of need to absorb it a little bit more. Kind of like I had to do with Demon's Souls because that game really kicked my butt when I first played it. But when I went back to it a little bit later, I was really feeling the vibes good. Uh, so here I am just 10 minutes into the game and I got an axe that literally does twice the damage as the sword that I started out with. I think I'm doing quite well with this playthrough. Um, so, you know, high regards to Nia, most definitely. I am looking forward to this game. Um, I, I just can't say enough good about it, you know, I mean, uh, you could, um, you know, check out other YouTube videos and whatnot to see more about it, but, you know, the graphics look great. I really enjoy kind of this, uh, subtle musical tones that play in the background. It doesn't play music just during boss fights like, uh, Demon's Souls and Dark Souls did. It actually kind of has, like, a nice subtle ambiance that kind of builds up that it doesn't rely solely on the, um, you know, environmental sounds, and that's really cool. Um, and, you know, the, like, the lighting effects, they look nice, you know, the game runs very fast and fluid. Um, there's actually a mode where you can play this game at 60 frames a second, although it's at reduced resolution. That's kind of a bummer that we can't play a game in 1080p and 60 frames a second on the PS4, apparently, but, you know, it's at least great to see the developers give gamers the option between 1080p at, you know, 30 or so frames a second. I think this game uh, averaged around 35 frames a second for some weird reason on Digital Foundry uh, to playing 720p at 60 frames a second. It's really good that they gave gamers that option. I hope to see more developers do that. You know, actual graphics options. Um, you hear that, Division? I remember the Division, they were bragging about, ooh, we're going to have tons of graphics options. Chromatic Aberration was the only graphics option. It had absolutely no effect on performance whatsoever. So that's a lie. <laughs> As Mori would say, I've, we've determined that that was a lie. <laughs> uh, uh, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. You know, I highly recommend Neo, and I think people just did not give it a fair shake. Maybe they just didn't... They, they played it like Dark Souls, and it doesn't play like Dark Souls. It plays differently. And you gotta kind of respect that, you know. Just like maybe I should have the first time around playing Bloodborne. I was playing it like Dark Souls, and it does not play like Dark Souls. And that's probably why it kicked my ass so much. And so I might give that another go while I'm waiting for Neo to release. And, uh, you know, kind of give it the proper respect it deserves. Um, so I, I just love these kinds of games. These heavy action games where you have large engrossing worlds that you have to kind of explore and figure things out for yourself and you know i keep bringing them on people you know i'm glad to see the souls franchise is spoofing out various clone games like this you know um particularly good ones like neo that although it does have heavy influences uh borrowed from the souls games as well as a couple of other, you know, franchises, of course, like Onimusha. Um, it kind of does it in its own unique way, and I really appreciate that. So, I hope to see more games like that, less games like Lords of the Fallen that pretty much just uh, kind of play it by the numbers, hoping for something, you know, it's just really lazy efforts that they just kind of piece together until, uh, you know... You know, to kind of tie people until other games come out. So, yeah, more games like this, less games like Lords of the Fallen. You know, games that, you know, utilize the properties that they borrow from, but they do it in a smart way. They kind of give their own unique identity and, you know, have great design philosophies. Even some elements that improve upon the games that they, um, you know, originated from. And so... Um, that's all I've really got the time for. I really hope you guys enjoyed my commentary on Neo. And, uh, you know, if you uh, actually tried this game out already and didn't enjoy it the first time, maybe, uh, whenever the game comes around, maybe you'll give it another look. And, uh, you know, g you know give it really the, uh, the respect and attention it deserves. Because I think this is going to be an awesome title when it comes out. Um, but leave your comments below. 
Uh, let me know what you think about Neo and any Souls genre games in general. Um, are you a fan of games that strive to be difficult and ass-kicking and rewarding? Or do you like to kind of play games that are more, you know, chillaxing and, you know, just kind of take your own pace at it, you know, and, you know, that kind of thing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this video play so you can see the remainder of my gameplay until I get my ass kicked. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.
Tirtos. <risa> 